who I want to be versus who I actually am. I think we all go through this tough battle of trying to find out who we can be and trying to realize still who we actually are. This has been a problem for me in most of my relationships. I try so hard to be perfect that I either come across as disingenuous, not because I'm a liar, but because I'm trying to create this perfectly crafted image of myself, or they tend to like the other version of me, which makes me feel more alone because they don't actually like me. They just like this persona I'm putting on. I have trouble liking and accepting myself, so I act like a person who I think deserves love and acceptance because I don't believe I deserve that sometimes. No, that sounds a little emo, but it's true. I was trying to do that thing where I'm being the best version of myself, but I think being in those relationships taught me that sometimes the worst thing you can do is try to be an idealized version of yourself. I want to be a thoughtful, loving, caring, and creative person with healthy relationships. But at this time, I'm a slightly contrarian, massively stubborn, emotionally distant, pretentious douche who relies on women to heal me because I'm a nervous wreck, yet I still objectify women and roll my eyes at them for being all womanly and shit. I don't want to be that guy. Fuck that guy. I want to lead an example of how people can have mutual understandings and overcome the bullshit in their life while also being deeply philosophical. But right now I'm a 21 year old unemployed bum living in my mom's basement trying to get a Mickey Mouse college degree most employers won't even care about. I don't want to be that guy forever. It kind of sucks being that guy. But right now I am that guy and I have to accept that in order to make the first step. We all can improve, but you also have to be realistic and meet yourself where you're at. If you're a skinny cunt like me, maybe don't try to bench press 500 pounds your first day at the gym. You're only going to frustrate yourself and give up before you can even get started. I think the problem is, we're trying to perfect ourselves before we can even moderately improve ourselves. Yeah, I want to become a more well-rounded person, but there's also things that I'm naturally more inclined to, and that's where my priorities are going to be. I think it's okay to understand that. I'm never gonna be the life of the party. I've tried it, it's not for me. No, I don't think I'm better than anyone because I don't like parties. It's just not where I feel stimulated. I prefer having deeper personal connections at a dinner or something like that. I think it's okay to realize what you like. The goal should be to develop your personality that's already there not try to make a new one that never existed before or try to change it for whoever you want to impress. Because if I have to have one more What's your major? I'm a b -b -b major conversation, I'm gonna fucking blow my brains out. I've also realized that I'm way too stubborn to be in one of those organized religions or social political groups. If you want to be in one of those groups, that's fine, do you, but it just doesn't make me happy. I hate feeling like I'm being indoctrinated and I have to believe a certain thing or I'll be exiled from the group. But I think it's good that I realized that about myself because I can be the bridge for these social groups. Or I could just troll them, whichever one I feel. Right now, I'm a porn addicted man who gets a little bit too sentimental when I talk about my high school glory years. But I still think I have all the answers to the world's problems because I go to the gym and read Charles Bukowski every once in a while. I want to be able to help others out of dark places through my creative work. I want to be the person that I needed growing up. And I think I can become that person. I think I will become that person. But I have to accept what I am in order to love who I can become.